Hi, my name is Gemma Willis. I am patient representative on the Trauma Steering Group Committee. I'm going to tell you or share my trauma story. In August of 2015, I was involved in a bad road traffic accident where I was brought to NACE Hospital. NACE stabilised me and assessed where was the best hospital for my needs. It took 16 hours to, before I got brought to the Mater Hospital. And those 16 hours were so crucial. In those 16 hours, I might not have lost my leg, I might not have lost my toes, that it, it shows how important it is to be brought to a hospital that is able to look after trauma and deal with trauma. My father was told when I was leaving NACE that I mightn't make the journey to the matter. And when I arrived to the matter, they put me in an induced coma and started operating straight away. I had multiple operations with multiple injuries. Listing my injuries from head to toe, I have a shunt going from my brain to my heart. The seatbelt burst my bowel and it also burst one of the arteries going down my leg. Um, I broke my spinal cord and I have rods stabilizing my spinal cord. I am an amputee on my right leg above the knee and I lost my toes on my left leg. And I... <laughs> Uh, broke this bone just on my cheek here which they had to stabilize there are all my injuries <laughs> trying to think is there any more of them they started operating i in tow had 11 operations in the matter over my period of nine months while i was in the matter waiting to be brought to the nrh they they were going to send me back to NACE Hospital because in theory you go back to the hospital that you started from before going to the NRH and I was refusing point blank. I had been moved around so much. I had so much going on, accepting my injuries, accepting my new life that I didn't want all of this change and moving and getting to know new teams, new doctors and everything. So I stayed in the matter. In total, it was nine months in the matter and then I got transferred over to the NRH, to the brain injury section of the NRH. So I did my three months up on the brain injury ward before I got eventually transferred down to the spinal ward where they <laughs> worked me hard for four months. And then I came home after 16 months and 14 operations, I eventually came home to start my new life. As patient representative, I'm seeing how important trauma care services are and to improve trauma care for patients like myself, of how different my accident could be after this is set up to 2015 and I'd be brought straight to the matter. There will be one doctor overseeing all my medical needs instead of seven doctors that I did have and they would have a bed ready and waiting for me and the doctors there ready on hand for me being whatever surgery I was needing first, my brain, my back, my tummy, my legs, whatever. And that there would be one coordinator to help instruct myself and my family of my, my new life and the changes and the different procedures and operations that I might have had to be having. Instead of me talking to seven doctors about seven different medical needs that I had or, and then even when I came home that it's, somebody to link in with if there was any issues. For example, I developed a pressure sore and we, we didn't know where to go or what to do or who to contact or anything. And I was brought to a hospital that were able to manage the pressure sore, but didn't know how to understand me and all my different medical needs. And I didn't get the care that I think I deserved or needed with all my injuries. Furthermore, your rehab needs will be assessed at an earlier stage, which should mean that you will get to somewhere like the NRH sooner than I was having to wait the nine months that you would get brought to the NRH sooner and then brought home sooner again. Another improvement with this trauma system is the ambulance now would bring you to one of the major trauma centers or a hospital that is able to deal with trauma unlike NACE was. When I used to be in school, I always used to 
write on the back of all of my notebooks and everything, Gemma is amazing, Gemma is amazing. My parents used to always say, oh, stop saying that Gemma, you're so cocky, you're so cocky. And when I was coming out of my coma, one of my cousins turned to my dad and said, she, re she really is amazing that she's came through all of this. And um, so when I was leaving the matter, a uh, friend of ours gave me pink fluorescent spray paint to spray paint Gemma is amazing uh, in our sheep shed. I am delighted to be patient representative on the trauma care steering committee to improve trauma care services for patients in the future. It's great comfort to think that they will be looked after and there will be a, a new layout of hospitals or hospital for them that they would be brought to one hospital and cared for. Their needs would be all cared for in a timely manner and be brought to where they need to be brought.